Good day, Crafty Chums, and welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here, and I'm coming at you with hopefully the last instalment of the um, toilet paper roll mini album. And um, yeah, it's been a process. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it so far, anyway. So um, I uh, put a spine on it um, yesterday. I didn't film it, I just did it. <laughs> Because um, I realised if I filmed that as well, um, it would just take forever to finish. So, uh, so I did that yesterday. I put the spine on, put a cover on the spine, and now I'm go going to. Um, I'm making a little book booklet to go in this uh, bit at the back, and then I'm putting on a cover at the front. This is going to be the flap for the cover, and so I just thought I'd just the last couple of things. Um, hi Penny, thanks for joining me. So just the last couple of things now and uh, just take you through those things there. The um, I did a side-by-side -side spine and uh, what I mean by that is just um, using these little, little bits of spine like a hinge maybe, um, like this and did half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, so one and a half inches, and then just um, joining the two together to make the to make the spine, so it goes in like that, and then you just join the two bits together, and then uh, just to make it neaten it off, just put a cover on it like that. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of flap, so what I would do is join that, that one to that one, glue those two together, insert the roll over the top like that and then just glue it all together of course this roll doesn't quite fit because it wasn't made for them <laughs> it wasn't made for that one it was made for these so um and that's how i do it just like that and so i'm left with this uh, front one here which i'm going to attach the cover to and i decided not to um make a back cover because it would just end up being too big. That spine there is two inches. And um, and there's quite a lot of width in between because, of course, these are chunky. These, um, I don't know what you call it. Each toilet paper roll is quite chunky. <laughs> so I'm making the booklet now to go, the, to go in the back, on the back. And um, I've cut, cut some coffee dyed paper and um i'm just going to sew them all together to make the little booklet to go in the back one uh, it's a little bit difficult to get in the back of course obviously because i've used lace and so the um, little sides just get caught on it but you know you just work through that work through that and i've got this uh, handy dandy we are memory keepers little kit thing here which um i was watching who was i watching I was watching Liz, Lizzie Brewer scrapping Lizzie unicorns, and um, and uh, she made me do it. <laughs> she made me do it. Uh, I blame her. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to use this. It's it's actually really quite handy. I'm just going to centre it in between some some holes and use that. I love it. I think it's a really useful bit of kit. So I've got it. I might as well use it. If I was being lazy, I'd, I'd actually just do it by hand without uh, using this. Just poke the hole through and sew it. You don't need one of these. They're just cute to have. Because um, they've got the holes marked out for you. Um, so, you, you know, really, it's uh, it's a little bit easier and you can really make sure that you get your holes even. So I believe that you're supposed to go through the black. Uh, you know, I do have the instructions, but who reads instructions? <laughs> who reads it? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three and a half. Because um, half a seven is three and a half, which is cool. One, two, three, 
and then I'm just going to go to that one there <clears throat> and that one there it's a bit close to the edge it's closer to the edge than if I was doing it um just normally uh I wouldn't do that I'd probably go that one and that one which I should, could have done anyway but hey <laughs> it's done now <laughs> anywho so I'm going to lift this off here and then I'm just going to pop, pop a peg just hold it just hold it in place and uh, put, put this um, I'm going to put it all back so I don't lose the bits because uh, one of my little knobs went missing for a little while it took me a while to find it <laughs> so lesson learned tidy up as you go along <laughs> which I don't always do Oh yeah, and that's the protective cover for that, which is like mm, so it doesn't go through the bottom of the felt bag. They give you this nice little pouch to uh, hold your your things in. I was just quickly looking for. I had two. Um, I had clothes pegs there yesterday <laughs> and today I've only got one how quickly things disappear on your desk <laughs> they disappear very quickly now I could do some um, embroidery floss or you know just whatever <laughs> i could do that for this instead of using the um the floss that comes with the kit so here we go now you can either keep your tail end inside or outside and whichever way you do is totally up to you <laughs> inside or outside up to you because this is small i can actually um i can actually keep keep my thumb on this one sometimes you would have to Um, use something to keep the, uh, the tail end from disappearing through the hole. Should I do it the way everybody else does it? Yeah, do it that way. <laughs> I was going to do a little bit of back stitching, you know, like sewing, but no, let's not do that. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, shall we? Going to show off my fancy stitching, but I won't. <laughs> so we're just going to tie this, and then that'll be that. That'll be the booklet sorted. Now, when you um, cut your pages for a booklet, you cut your pages when you close up the book again because you um, make it the size of the book, you get a little bit of. Um, of overage so you can either you can cut it down either before or after and that's um as you can see i've got a little bit over there so i'm going to cut that down now and then that will be uh, the book done i prepared it in advance yay so what's difficult with this is to um just cut the pages and not cut the booklet not the uh, cover booklet not the cover so there you go and as i was saying this um is a little bit to get difficult to get in the back because it's a uh, lace and it catches on lace so if you try and slide it in you may you may do okay and then that, that's the back then a little smart back cover 
and we're on to the front cover um because i made the hinges with just half and half uh half an inch i could have actually made that flap larger and i should have but i didn't <laughs> hey i should have made it let me just pop this away i should have made it larger so i'm gonna have to make it larger now to hold the front cover on I don't know why I keep this one in here because it just keeps popping out. Pop this away, keep it all nice and tidy. <laughs> Which is so unlike me. I had to get on with this project, so I needed to finish it because my, my desk is a bomb site. It's a bomb site. So I'm going to use a um some plastic for this one and i decided to just go right over i may trim it off see how it looks trim it off to here to leave these uh, oh yeah it looks better doesn't it it looks better if it only goes as far as the end of the toilet paper rolls and not to cover the because thinking about it this at the back is extending over anyway so i might as well extend the front cover over too so let me just measure this and we'll cut it off <coughs> excuse me so i'm going to cut it at four inches i think I think I'm going to keep it at four. Can't quite get get this all on the desk, but never mind. Got to be careful when you're doing plastic because it does slip and slide. You see, you can end up with it really lopsided. So I think that that will work. And I'm going to extend this just a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Thinking of extending it. But I may not have to. Now I've decided to use a shorter version of it. Um, what do I think? Extend or not extend. I'm just uh, talking out loud now. I think I can extend. Just it will hold it firmer. It will. I'm just going to take this belly band off. Just get out of the way a little bit while I do the picking up all the bits off my uh, surface now. Yes, thank you. Me and Javier had a nice uh, time this weekend. <laughs> it was perfectly enjoyable. <laughs> so I'm going to touch this. And then attach the little extensions as well. Probably do this first. It takes a little while for this glue to come to the end, and then when it does, it just spurts it everywhere. <laughs> Nice to have little mini breaks. Try to keep the weekends free now since we bought the camper van so that we can take the mini breaks.
when I do this, I try to keep the uh, bottom flat because the the albums sit on the shelf on the bottom. So they're on display. <laughs> This gives me a little bit of a bigger surface to put the to attach the um, front cover to. So I hope you uh, forgive me, Tappy, for going on ahead and doing some at the weekend. Sorry. In my spare time. I said I wouldn't, but in the end it would have I would have been at this for days longer if I did absolutely everything um live. <laughs> So we're doing this. Just want to make sure that the glue doesn't ooze out over onto the plastic. Now I did cut um, a little strip here, but I was doing it for the other one, so I've just got to cut some more strips. I um my little moth as well. I covered with um the other day. You may have remember I covered um I glued the paper to the moth and uh, and cut it out and um and then just ink the edges which is nice i've uh, got a twig as well that i that i did that too so if i have time i may just um i'm hoping for that it will work on the decoration for the spine but may or may not work if i have time i will show you how i cut that out but um you do have to make sure it's well and truly glued to the paper before you um do anything to it because it's quite vicious <laughs> quite vicious um you know rough uh, because you have to sand the edges and things so i need to cut some more paper i think that's three quarters of an inch there dare i risk it no i better i better measure it yeah three quarters So just going to come in and do three quarters. As you get smaller, it's quite difficult to get it level because, of course, there are no markings, no lines to work off. It's actually really difficult to get it all straight and not skew with, which is where your um, inking helps <laughs> thinking the edges helps because it hides a little bit the skew whiffery we haven't quite finished fully insulating the camper van we've still got uh, some insulation to put into the doors um, and then we'll be fully as well as in fully insulated as we can get it. Which is nice. When we, the first time we went out in the van, it, it was really cold. <laughs> We'd put a little bit of insulation in and then uh, 
and we decided no we needed more <laughs> we put a bit in and we thought oh yeah we'll be lovely and toasty and warm but of course it's still winter here so not now it's spring now but um when we first got the van during lockdown and uh and yeah <laughs> Hi, Crafty Spirit, how are you? We both thought it was very cold. <laughs> and it's something for Hubby to think it's cold as well. You know, it's cold if Hubby says he's cold. <laughs> Right, just gonna have to use different color on the uh, inside there because I don't want to cut into a whole new sheet. Let's see if I've got any of my bits left. Maybe my little scrappies. Nope. I would have done if I hadn't cut these smaller for uh, going on the other one. Oh well, I could do it with this, couldn't I? Okay, to match the cover there. So just cutting this one, trying to do it straight. it wrong three quarters oh no <laughs> there we go measure twice especially when you get towards the end <laughs> of your papers um yes mm -hmm. he's right what length do i have Pencil. I could have cut that with my scissors, but I can cut straighter with the guillotine than I can with my scissors. <laughs> Honestly, very lopsided. I to try to cut that straight with my uh, scissors, I would have got an angle on it. Seriously. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get through this and to give you a little flip through. And maybe tell you what the next project is going to be. So if I did have the bird cage, and um, so I've got the bird cage, and I cut a backing for it, so that when it's on the cover here, when you flip it, you just don't see white; you'd see the image of it there, like that. But I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> yeah, not sure I like it. Maybe I'll use paper instead. But Mm hmm so I 
I could put it that way, I suppose, but that would just be weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> weird. So that's what I was thinking there, but I've also got the smaller bird cage, but it's just not quite big enough for it. Hmm. Got flowers. these dusky pinky flowers which I could put with the bird cage but I really like the roses actually so hmm let's have a bit of a fiddle now <laughs> straight lines <no. laughs> it's like yeah I may cut off that top bit of the cage there just to make it fit on but I don't know and then I was thinking putting on some little metal corners Got some nice smaller ones there and Little bow. Little bow. Little bow. So they're quite sweet, these little bows, aren't they? So, hmm. It's just that with these metal corners and that, you have to squeeze them shut, don't you? Let's see, and because it's so thin, it might just um, might not work. Mm. Hubby took the things back, didn't he? I think he did. My pliers, sorry, his pliers, I think he took them back. <laughs> How dare he take his plows back? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work. Could bend it all out of shape then. Because it has to go too thin, I think. That's not too bad, is it? Could glue them on as well, but Ooh. opened it up. <laughs> now I'm going to have trouble now. Won't make that mistake again. Well, don't whatever you do, don't squeeze that bit there. <laughs> Here, her, her. Okay. So I may back this with paper first because um, 
then you'll just get the pattern paper on the back. So I think I'm going to do that. I don't think I like that on there. So if I glue this onto there and then just cut round it, and then you'll just have a um, grey paper on the back, which will look OK. It will look OK. So let's do that. Problem solving on the go, <laughs> on the fly, as they say. And I'll cut that out. And then we'll see if I've got enough time for the branches. Might have yet. I've got half an hour left, haven't I yet? Crafty Spirit's gone off again, is she? She's chasing her cats. <laughs> I'm just going to cut this out. I think I just cut past the cage off there as well. <laughs> Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> it's gone quiet. So I'll go and quiet over there. <laughs> Just concentrating on the cutting. I don't have to rush out this week because um, I've already put the bins out. Sometimes I'm sat here and then I hear the bin, the bin lorry coming along and I just have to run out and get the bins out. <laughs> I've decided to um, opt for the uh, telephone alert day before to tell you that, you know, the bin men are coming. Because <laughs> I will often forget. Because we have different bins that go out on different weeks and that, so um, it's very difficult to remember which bin goes out last week, that week, unless you have it marked on the calendar. So I have telephone alerts now that tell me which bins are supposed to be going out. <laughs>
Hold up. Heavy with the um, inking, but that goes on that side anyway, so that won't show, which is good. A bit heavy handed. I have to do is decide whether I'm going to cut that little circle off at the top or not. Yeah, I can hear the bin lorry now. Can I do anything else with this? So I think that looks okay, doesn't it? Ugh. Well, duh. <laughs> oh, do, do you know what I did? That was silly of me, wasn't it? Can you guess what I did yet? That's okay. I can attach it down here and I can attach it down there. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what I did yet? Mm -hmm. Answers on the postcard, please. <laughs> I am going to take that bit off because it is too. Yes, correct. <laughs> I got to do that anyway. So, uh, so I'm going to cut that off. I am going to make a. See what I could do is just um, attach it down there and there, here and here, because I can always put a bow on the inside there to attach it. Or I can leave the backing there because I can hide that bow and the glue that will be there with another bow. I've got a bigger bow left. No, just the smaller ones. So I'll have to cut out a bigger bow, but um, I can attach it there and there and it won't matter. I can have a bow on the inside as well. Who says I can't? <laughs> Use the flowers on the inside, good idea. So let's see. I can actually always put a flower there as well, couldn't I? And then I've got um, that space to cover it in on the inside too. I'm going to attach it down. I'm going to attach it down. <laughs> glue. I have to use my slightly stronger glue on this side.
This has been a problem solving exercise today. <laughs> always good to um, problem solve live then you can do thought processes and yeah I can put that one there or I can find another butterfly maybe as well and then I can and the problem is of course is that you can see the glue through the clear plastic if you're wondering if you're watching in and you're wondering what's going on <laughs> it's because just because so when i look at on the other side i have to find something then to go <clears throat> and cover this on the inside which can be <laughs> just two flowers or oh, flower and a bow two flowers you like the bows because it, it when you look at the um like a corner pocket inside to hide the back I can do it like that. You like the bows and not the flowers? All right, I can do the bows. The bows are prettier, aren't they? Because I can actually just cut another bow and that will hide it on the um, other side too. Right, I'm going bows. I could make a corner pocket, but I don't want to. <laughs> Another great idea. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I like the bows better, they, they are prettier than a quarter pocket would be. Okay, and, and I can also um, put another little pearl in there. That'll match the one on the inside, because I've got a... Uh, a bow with a little pearl on the inside too. Oh, 
It's not a little pearl, it's actually quite a big pearl. I don't know, I thought I thought the foil backing looked a bit clunky actually. I'll show you wherever it went. I thought it looked a bit clunky. I didn't think it looked very attractive at all. The foil backing with the flowers will look nice. Don't know. Do you think? Do you think that looks nice? Do you think that looks nice? Crafty spirit? Yes. <laughs> okay. If you think it looks okay, then I'll just glue this down and we'll go for it. Yeah, I thought the um actually thought the foil backing looked clunky. And uh, hopefully, we'll take a little bit to set up, won't it? Just going to spread it down this way. Okay, guys, I'm going with, with the flow. I'm going with the flow of the comments. <laughs> also going with this glue because uh, it makes such a mess. I just want to clean, clean the lid. So I can put a bow, but I've just got to cut a bigger bow. Okay. Bigger bow, bigger bow. Cut it in that paper there. So 
just covering that bit there. Yeah, I can totally trust you guys not to send me wrong. <laughs> Got to place it. So it doesn't show behind that one. It's so difficult placing it. <laughs> shows a little bit but not too much <laughs> Julio, Julio. We're getting there. I'm glad I did a lot of the finishing off off camera because uh, it just takes forever, doesn't it? it takes forever. Let's just get this in here. This foiling comes out a weird colour on the camera. It's quite dark, but it's actually just gold foil. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is just set that aside just to so that can just oh, I've got five minutes anyway <laughs> might not have enough time right set that aside just to dry for a minute while I just finish off 
this one here and uh, see what it turns out like. I may not use it. I may not decorate the um, spine at all, but we'll just see. I have a few nits left. i just quickly cut it. Take out the major part and then go to my blade. Went from butterflies to moths, <laughs> but hey, it doesn't matter. Make a butterfly. <laughs> Make a butterfly. So I'll just get this here, get my little craft knife out. So I'm going to match them. Um, so I'm just going to, I've got the this cute little butterfly here, moth, and um, but he's for the spine. But I may change my mind, who knows. Excuse my mat, it's disgusting, I know. What happens when you combine painting with crafting? And do this as quickly as I can. I don't know if you can hear the water running, but hope he's in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I always change my mind. <laughs> A woman's prerogative, isn't it? Got a bit of glue around there as well, so it's a little bit difficult to dig out around the glue. But you've got to really make sure that the paper's on, stuck down well, so you can do need do you need the glue.
actually what I learned the other day that I didn't know. And um, and in the past, I've actually thrown away some self-healing mats because I was thinking, you cut it, and it's like, that's not self-healing, the, cut, the cut's there and that. And I didn't know that if you run it under um, hot water, then the mats heal, they close up the um, cuts and that. And that's why they're called self-healing mats. I didn't realise that there was another step to it. <laughs> I don't know if this is a self-healing mat, but um, I haven't tried it yet. But it's been so long since I bought this that I don't know if it is or not. Something living, something new every day. <laughs> I've said that he's just given me a time check. I've said five more minutes, five more minutes. He's keeping me on track, so I'm not late for work. See that? I just broke that one. I think we'll glue down. That's because I was too busy chatting with Hubby. He's making them um, making sign language at me from the door. <laughs> find my um, nail file I've got a nail file which will help me get in um, a little bit closer and then if I'm a big huge sanding block or if you have a uh, filing you know the paper just Murphy's oil soap will it I've, I do have um uh, I do have soap to clean my um, brushes with. I think it's an oil soap. Murphy's oil, it's a liquid one anyway. I don't know if it's a Murphy's. I didn't realise it would take it off there. I thought these would be like on on. Because it's, could scrape it off I suppose, look. I'm doing this, wonderful. Sound off. Anyway, I almost have to go. I'm out of time. Out of time because I have to brush off to work. Shall I give you a quick flick through of what I've got? Because I've just I'm out of time now. <laughs> So I'll give you a quick look through and uh, and then uh, we'll, we will have to go and I will probably finish off the spine with you know the, the other little bird cage and the, the little moth and I was going to put the branch on there as well but um not yet because it, it's going to take a little bit of work to get this branch up and going so not yet but 
I'll probably finish it off like that. And um, I'll just give you a quick look through now. Right, okay, just take it for a day or two. Mm, cool, I might give it a clean up and then next time you see that, that um, cutting mat, it will be clean-ish. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? I don't want to cut myself on there. There we go. Right. Give you a flip through the uh, toilet paper roll mini album. So with our little plastic cover there and our little um, help from Crafty Spirit and Penny <laughs> to finish that one off. So we've got a um, little pocket here, pocket with a tag, and a little flip up with the um, the belly bands here and uh, little tags underneath there, underneath the belly band. And then we've got another little pocket there with another little tag. And a little um, little tuck there as well. And then we open up again and we've got a little side pocket there and another little tuck spot there. And um, We've got also got the uh, tag insert here into the toilet roll, toilet roll, roll, <laughs> toilet paper roll, and then on the back we've just simply got the um, the little uh, frame to put a picture in, just decorated with a little butterfly and flower. Here we've got a uh, little envelope with a little tag inside as well closes with a magnet there got the little um tag there insert got another little belly band there and we've got a little tuck spot here and then we've got a little flip out with a tuck spot here and then a flip down and a little corner pocket there with the um, using a uh, corner bookmark, um, corner plate, whatever you call them, corner. <laughs> and a little tuck spot there. And this folds up and that attaches with a magnet there. And here is a little tag. This one opens on the back with a floating closure, like so. Opens up to reveal another little pocket in there, little lacy pocket. Closes with the um, floating closure, and this is just a, uh, a little flip open with a little belly band in and a little tuck belly band spot thingy there. That closes there, and that's the um, last tag here. And on the back, we just quickly made the, the, the little booklet with the copy papers in there. And, uh, and that's it, basically. And I'll probably finish the spine off camera because tomorrow I want to start, not tomorrow, Thursday. <laughs> I want to start another um, little mini album on Thursday. I didn't pop that in, did I? Little mini album on Thursday, and I will be using I'll be using a um, little bit of packaging that that I got here. So that's what I'll be using as the basis for a little mini album. There, and I'll probably cut it down a little bit more because it's too long. It's too long, so I'll probably be cutting down and uh, making a little mini album out of that. I hope you enjoyed following along with this TP mini album and um, trials and tribulations. Uh, <laughs> but it, and it ended up as a little chunky one, little chunky monkey. So there you go. And I've got to go now because I have to go to work, unfortunately. <laughs> So thanks for watching, everybody. See you all again very soon. Bye.